Well, here we are. I've been wanting to make this video for the last six years, and unfortunately, I'm six years a little too late. But take it from me and my progress so far in the last three or four years that here are some tips and some ideas that it's your sign to just start. The first one being that progress is better than perfection. It's very easy in this content creation journey to think if we spend long enough on a video, if we edit it long enough, they'll eventually have the perfect video. But the fix for that is to think that it, perfection doesn't even really exist. If you spend too much time focusing on taking the perfect step, you'll never actually take the next one. And that is what evidently, eventually drives us forward to our, to our goals. And so when you're thinking about content creation, you just have to do. You, just, you can't really focus on the minute details. There is a time and place for them, but taking your first step is not one of them. A good tip that I've used to you know, eliminate perfection from my content creation mindset is that perfection is linear, but progress is broad. If you focus on perfection, it's imagine throwing like a massive dart at a dartboard. You may hit the bullseye, but you may hit, miss the board entirely. And the only thing you have to show for that is an attempt. You don't even have any score for it. But if you focus on progress and you're shooting a thousand mini darts at this dartboard, sure you may not have the best bullseye, but all of these little darts on the dartboard at least are accumulating score and you can adjust them. You know, I shot a little too right one way, I shot a little too high another, and you can adjust them for your next piece of content. It's very easy to think that we can just make a perfect video every time, but there's always going to be those times where the videos didn't turn out how you truly wanted to if you spend more time on it, but in 10 months time, they would be irrelevant anyway because you're just so focused on the next one. If you spend too much time sitting still on one video, you're eventually just going to fall behind. It's very easy to compare to what we should be making or what we could be making, but you just have to make, you just have to do because that's where progress is hiding. The second point is clarity equals power. In this world, everybody is so distracted. The more focus you have, the more powerful you may be. And that can come down to deleting social media for a couple days or a couple weeks if you have to, eating healthier food so you feel less lethargic, and more importantly, focusing on sleep so you can wake up energized and, and have a clear mind and the goals ahead of you. It's very important that you say no to things you used to say yes to. Eliminate all those distractions so you can get ahead of your creative mind and make sure you're reaching those goals more efficiently. Another tip for me that has helped is having clarity and always readjusting on your goals. When the path gets rough, you need to know how to readjust. This can mean comparing your goals to mentors, influences, and even talking to friends on the direction you have to go. But the more distractions you have, the harder it is, it is for you to readjust. In this world, everybody's so distracted. The more focus you have, the more powerful you may be. And lastly, you have the creative switch. If you feel like you're standing still, most likely you're actually falling behind. It's very important to switch things up creatively and ignite that creative flame that drives us forward as creators. That can mean switching up the camera that you're using, switching up the way you edit, switching up the way you tell a story, switching up the time of day you shoot, the type of music you use, even the way you're thinking about filming a video. It's very important that we allow these changes to actually push us forward rather than to kind of put us into a sense of fear. Using these changes can help us find out new creative styles that we've never discovered before and can cause us to figure out a new sense of style that we actually end up loving. 
Point being, if you feel like you're stuck in one way, essentially try a different way. Try a different camera, try a different way of filming, try something that gets you out of your comfort zone and you might find a new one. All in all, if you switch up your creative strategy, you're bound to find some passion in the work that you do. I hope these three ideas and tips have kind of spoken to you and laid out a timeline on how to start your creative journey or how to move your creative journey forward. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see your content soon.